Hello everyone. I want to talk about a couple of important things. I raise a lot of earthworms. I feed them to my tropical fish and I really like to get the worm castings. They use dirt after the worms have filled it full of their poop. I really like that to make teas and to put into my garden as fertilizer. It's just outstanding stuff. Now, you want to give them as varied a diet as you can. At the same time, I kind of like recycling everything I possibly can. It's amazing. If you drink coffee, you make a pot of coffee every day, you get one of these. You've got a paper and you've got the coffee grounds. I just put them in this container and once a week, every two weeks, whatever, uh, I'll go through and get them ready to go in with the earthworms. The other big item, K-cups. You know, I say we don't use K-cups, but I'll, I'll make a cup of decaf coffee at night and Chris will do some teas and it's amazing. First thing you know, you've got a big container full of them. Now, this is like the most ungodly thing to go to the landfill and look at them. There's got to be billions of these things heading for a landfill. The, uh, on YouTube, a guy named Plant Abundance, I think it who it was, said you could get these little cutters on Amazon. And it's got a little two-blade deal. I bought a two-pack for like $12, $13, something rather. You could, that'll let you put this on the inside, squeeze it, and when I get lucky and do it right, it's pretty cool. Twist it around, and what you'll find is it'll separate. Sometimes it'll cut it completely, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm left-handed and this is designed for right-handed people. And then I use a little plastic cup cutter here and I can tear off that bag. I can get out the coffee once again. Now, this will recycle and if I go to the effort supposedly and peel. This is aluminum foil and then this is plastic. If I separate these, they'll both recycle. I don't know if the aluminum foil will or not. And frankly, it takes me forever to do it. So this I'm going to throw away. I'm going to throw this away instead of this. Then I get to recycle this. And this goes to the worms. So you know, you just sit here and it's one of those mindless things like making killifish mops that you just do. Squeeze it, wrap it around a few times, tear it off. And then you could use a spoon. I happen to have these handy. Dig out all the stuff you can find on to the next one. Just seat it in, squeeze it, and twist. I got a little hand so it's a pain. Ah, see there's one went really nicely. Sometimes they will. But you can do a bunch of these in a few minutes. Uh, and now that you've seen how to do it, I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then I'll show you getting them to the worms. All right, as you can see, I got a big old pile of these things, and I've opened up one of my worm bins. I've given a lot of the leftover, um, the, the longer, not so good leaves off of cabbage and cauliflower. Now I'm gonna start just piling this stuff in here. This has all been drying pretty good, so I'm going to need to wet it some. And for that, I'm just going to put two fingers over this bottle. And then I can put some water, sprinkle some water in here. Now, the worms themselves, you don't get any smell out of a worm container, not if, you, if you're even partially doing it right. They have no odor at all. When I water this down, I get a little bit of a smell in this part of the basement of coffee, uh, which is kind of a good smell in the morning. I like the smell of coffee. What I haven't figured out what to do with is do I really want to recycle these things 
or can I use them as little plant cups? Wouldn't it be great to grow little seedlings in? I wish they were a little deeper, but you know, there's a six pack. They're as big around, but they're not quite as deep. But I still think for your smaller seedlings, these things would probably be pretty good. It's little seed cups. Uh, they already have one hole in them. I'll probably put would put another couple of holes. But wouldn't it be nice to recycle these one time as seed starters and then put them out for the full recycling? Because I hate buying those little trays, uh, those little six-pack trays. I hate buying those. And most people use them once, and I find you only get like three or four uses out of them before they're busted bust it up. But there's what you can do with your coffee grounds and your K-cups. You can either use these to start seeds or recycle them. The coffee grounds go to the worms. Your regular brew a pot coffee grounds go to the worms. There's no reason to put all this stuff in the landfill. And your worms love coffee. These are American worms. They drink coffee. Now I think my wife does just enough tea that if I have any English worms in here, they'll be happy drinking her tea. Probably Earl Grey, so I probably have Picard worms or something. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this, please subscribe. And it's getting to be springtime, so the gardening stuff is going to go. As you can look over there, you can see. That's hydroponic lettuce. These are all starts here that are past ready to go out in the garden. I'm hoping to get them out this weekend. And we kind of got the early part of the garden under the hoop out, under the little hoops going strong. So this is David at Grow and Eat This. Thank you for watching.